Okay, I was going to do three piles and I was just going to pick one card for each one, but they were just like, you're going to get what you're given. So, <laughs> so that's where we're at. I may use some tarot to clarify this, but there's a lot of cards already. Um, this is pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. They're ringing this in. Pick your pile. Take a second, just kind of, you know, the way I do it often is normally I'll sort of look and I generally feel drawn to a pile of some in some regard, okay? So you may feel drawn to a pile, you might hear number one, you might hear a number, you know, you might close your eyes and then it just rests on one pile. That's what I find that I do, um, that my eyes just tend to rest and be drawn to a particular pile. So choose your pile. We're gonna have a little look at it. Um, I'm not quite sure what the cards all mean yet. Obviously we've got the Herodon Oracle deck. So I do feel like that's what he wants to say. I know that that much. We've got some of the Love Oracle cards here as well. So I feel like this is kind of maybe a little bit more about what he's feeling um, and his kind of viewpoint. And then we've also got the Love Oracle cards um, from the Island Time Wellness. And we'll just see what this kind of comes up to. I think that's more gonna be about his impressions and stuff. So pick your masculine, one, two, or three. And we'll have a little look. So part number one. Let's take a little look at your hidden cards. Okay, so wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. And um, I just got a notification about going to the gym. So maybe a gym go, a bit of a gym rat. Reflection, give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that things will work out for the best. And let me show. So there's a lot of emotion here. If you can see these two cards, very, very emotional. Lots of kind of feelings, lots of imagination. I feel like you guys are having dreams. I feel like both of you are going through a transformation stage at the moment. I feel like this is the masculine, oddly, um, although it's a feminine, but I can feel like he's like in the shower crying is what I can just what I just saw. So it's like, nobody can see me crying in the shower. I feel like this is a very masculine man. Um, a lot of blue energy, a lot of kind of healing, I think, for the communication of this relationship, because actually that's something that's stunted. I feel like you two are dreaming about each other. You've had contact a lot in the three, in the 5D, but probably not so much contact in the 3D at the moment for you guys. Okay, so yeah, look at this. Wait, don't rush. Okay, so wait and reflection. And then look, clock. Okay, clocks come out. Need time, take time, take time in. What? Takes time in time, that doesn't make any sense. Cycles, time to heal progress. So yeah, I feel like, I mean, the fact that I was stumbling over all, over all of that does feel a little bit like there's a lot, like there's a lot to heal, there's a lot to clear at the moment and it's gonna take time. So you guys have just gotta be patient, I'm afraid, if you're in, if number part number one is your divine masculine or whom you are thinking of, I'm afraid it's just gonna take time. You're gonna to have to look after yourself. Ironically, here we go. Self-indulgence, yeah. Focus on yourself, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work and self-appreciation. So this time right now, and I felt a bit of, I've had an anxiety burp there from the feminine. This is triggering all of your abandonment issues, feminine, because it's like, where is he? Why has he left me? What's going on? If it takes too long, he might not still love me. But that's not a proper relationship. That's not proper love. So you allow him to go off and, and look after himself. And while you're doing that, you're looking after yourself. However, this has left you feeling a little bit stabbed in the back, I think. But recognize that him taking time away from you, this separation isn't about you. It's not because he doesn't love you. It's not because he's not interested. It's because he needs to go and do some healing himself. And actually, you need to do healing on yourself as well, okay? So I do feel like there is separation in this, in this and that it is required because both of you need to do a lot of healing work. So now's the time for you to appreciate yourself, to do some shadow work. If you are in separation with your twin flame, maybe think about coming on to my new course that starts in March. It's an eight-week course, and we're going to focus a lot on the shadow work, the self-healing, all of the things that you need to do as an individual to bring your uh, relationship into union. So you might be interested in that. Hand of cards, take a chance, risk, being strategic, options, not showing hand, gambling. Yeah, I don't feel like there's a lot of communication at the moment in this relationship. I feel like you guys are dealing with triggers, you're dealing with, um, you know, it, it, there's a lot of karma that's being ridded out of this, out, out of this. It, like, we have got the karmic relationship card, but I do feel like actually there's you're concerned whether or not this is a karmic relationship or not and and once you do all the healing work you will have clarification whether or not this is a karmic partner or not so the more that you let go and the more that you love yourself the more that you will learn your lessons the more that those triggers will dissipate and the more that you will be able to heal this ultimately this relationship with yourself okay 
But this relationship has also come along to, um, you know, come along to trigger the shit out of you to do the healing work. 5.05 on the clock when I say that, so change chaos. Okay, so what does he want to say? I know that I crossed a line with you. I knew exactly what I was doing. I want to be more than friends and you were the best thing in my life. So there is some love here. There is some love here. And, and there's a feeling of like wanting to be with you, um, but it just not being the right time at the moment. I just heard right person, wrong time. Um, and, and the only way that you're going to get to be the right time is if you go within and you do that self-healing work to, um, you know, do what you need to do to bring in, bring in this relationship. I just split the pack here to walking away. So I feel like you're not wanting to walk away because you're frightened that it's not going to come back in. But the truth of the matter is, is that that's the best thing that you need to do right now is to walk away and just to focus on yourself. Can I get one tarot? Thank you. For, yeah. Okay. So we've got two tarot cards. Tarot card here is the two of um, wands and the lover's card, you guys. So there is love here, but the choice needs to be made. The choice needs to be for you to walk away. So what you let go of, if it's truly yours, it will come back to you with wings on, okay? If this is the right relationship, it will come back in. But the very first thing that you need to do is trust yourself. And I saw 611 on the camera, and then it's 2611 is the amount of time. So I just saw 611, 611, maybe relevant to somebody. I need to say that. So, um... I just heard maybe 6th of November, 26th of November, 611 house number, 6128 as well being relevant as well. Um, 6, 1, shut up, look, 611, how weird is that? Okay, 611 is important, I don't know what that's about, but it is important. So, um, but there, there is love here, there's going to be an offer of love and happiness and joy coming in, but you need to go away <laughs> to get it. You need to you need to follow your own path to get it. And on the, on the bottom of the pack, there was there the 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 six of um, what am I saying? The six, the nine of cups. So there is wish fulfillment here, and uh, the empress, and she's also backed by the high priestess here. So that your gut is telling you to walk away from this, but your fear is trying is stopping you because it's like, well, what if he doesn't come back? Well, if it isn't yours and it doesn't come back, it wasn't yours to begin with. What's meant for you will return. So they're telling you to let go, focus on yourself, give some time to this relationship. And if the, when it's right, when the time is right and you guys have done the healing, it'll come back into you. Okay. Come back into you. Filth. <laughs> Good luck, partner number one. Pile number two. Let's have a look at you. Yeah. Passion. A magnetic, seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. Ooh, tasty. It's a little bit raunchy. Let's see what else we've got. So yeah, I feel like you're feeling quite good. I feel like you're sitting in your power at the moment. You're feeling quite sexy. I feel like there may be some people, some some obsession around you. So you may have some people who are kind of like obsessively drawn to you. And it is a little bit like, you know, the more that you begin to shine your light, unfortunately, the more that you attract all the moths. So be discerning about who you're allowing into your life because there is some codependence here, possibly obsession, possession, maybe some controlling um, behaviors here. So practice restraint and make sure that you're not bringing into your life anybody that's not good because I do see that there is some love coming towards you possibly a surprise invitation or a meeting um and there will be something to do you know I heard Valentine's Day which is obviously yesterday but you may have you may have had somebody contact you yesterday to tell you that they like you with a passionate offer just be careful because the more that you shine your light my darling the more that you will attract all of those mods and not all of those mods are meant for you okay Oh, yes, look here. I couldn't let you get close to me. I wish I had treated you better. Now, this I feel like this is a warning, guys. I feel like part number two, possibly the person that you were thinking of, although there's a lot of passion with that person, I do feel like maybe that, num that number two, ironically, that number two guy is not actually healed, competent of living you, living you, loving you in the way that you deserve I feel like there were some obsessive behaviors that were going on in this relationship so although the chemistry was really good actually you couldn't let them get close to you because they weren't treating you as well as you deserved I feel like this is you protecting yourself so be careful because you know toxic things and toxic things are often they often feel good okay you know it's like uh, I don't know, like eating fast food or something. It tastes good, but it's fucking toxic. So, um, and I feel like that is a little bit like this guy. I feel like he's like a McDonald's burger. Do you know what I mean? It's like, don't eat that. <laughs> don't eat that. Don't eat McDonald's foods. It's not worth it. 
Yeah, there you go. Okay, so you've got yourself in a bit of a mental imprisonment as a result of the way that this person's treated you. I feel like there was some... I just heard gaslighting. Maybe some gaslighting. Maybe a little bit of toxicity. If this is a toxic situation, please please step away from it and heal from this situation. Because although it's passionate, the reason why it's passionate is because it's addictive. Um, and because it gives you that highs and lows, those heady highs and lows. They want you to step away from this at the moment and to just do some healing work on your own, okay? Protect your heart, please, pile number two. Follow your intuition. Make sure that you're going after... Yeah, look at that. Healing. I just split to these two cards. Healing with the star energy there and, and anxiety and depression. If you've got... If this masculine has given you a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of unhappiness, there's been toxicity within it. It doesn't mean that you can never get back with this person, it, you know, if that's what you want. But I do feel right right now the toxicity is still resonant in both of your energies and so what you need to do right now is let it go and move on okay so um i love you very much please do the healing work that you need you need to do you might be interested in the course that i'm starting on the first of march uh, which is a course about kind of twin flames and divine counterparts, but it's about healing you so you can move forward into a healthy relationship. Look at that, four of swords, healing, retreat, rest, okay? So right now it's time to focus on yourself, pile number two. Step away from this masculine. There's still some dominant energies in here that are not healthy for either of you. And, and really a, a night of passion, that passion that comes when it's good isn't worth the, the bad times, okay? I love you very much. Look after yourself and I'll speak to you soon. Leave me a comment below. Bye. Hello, power number three. This is your reading. Look inside of yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. Yeah, lots of heart chakra around at the moment. Very focusing on this tree, this sun card as well. New growth. I feel like you're stepping into a new pathway at the moment, um, power number three. Oddly, this is the power that I was resonating with, so I'm, I'm kind of glad about that one. Secret admirer. Somebody has feelings deeper for you than they're letting on, so your masculine may be... Yeah, I feel like your masculine is a lot in the feels, but I do feel like this absence from him, like a thought bubbles here. It's like there's little bubbles away from you. You know, it's like he's like almost in a different universe is what I just heard, you know, these little bubbles of universes and you're like three away from him. And he's not leveled up enough, but you do have, he's admiring you. I feel like you need to look inside yourself because truly, you know, if this is a divine union, he's never away from you. Um, he's always with you, and the more that you can focus on that, the better. Holy fucking shit. I didn't look at these cards before I put them down, by the way. Can I just say? Uh, I didn't look at these cards before I put them down. And I felt, because I like to read for myself as well. I like to surprise myself in these readings. This is a beautiful reading. I just did one for pile number two. Sorry, pile number two, if you're watching this one, because this one, uh, I mean, look, if, if you watch that one, maybe that's the energy of what was and what is. But if you, anyway, shut up, Laura. Forget about pile number two. We're doing pile number three. Sorry, guys. Three cards. Look at this beautiful energy. Healing heart. You're healing from heartbreak. Look at this. Look inside yourself, yeah? What, this little heart, what are you, what are you, <clears throat> that's funny, because I thought that was the card for that one. You know, that that was the front for that reading. So anyway, look inside your heart. You're healing yourself. You're healing your heart. You're healing from heartbreak. There's freedom from toxic relationships and addictions. You're stepping away from the things that don't serve you, power number three, which is fucking beautiful energy. I'm very proud of you. Keep going because on the other side of misery is happiness. <laughs> but look at this. Wedding, marriage, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise, union. Okay, there's something very good coming for you and it's coming at the other side of healing. Okay, this is why my new course, Twin Flame Codex, is all about healing because once you do the healing work, it translates to the other party in that bubble sphere away, away from you into the different parallel of the universe where they live and it's going to bring in union time for you both. So keep working on yourself. The more you work on yourself, the more that they work on themselves in effect. Because when they see, you know, when your divine masculine sees you leveling up and you're fucking golden, he's like, shit, I'm fucking, I'm still bloody tin foil. I need to work harder. And it puts the, um, you know, it puts the, it puts the wind up them to make them work harder. So you keep focusing on yourself, keep working on yourself, keep sitting in that empress energy. And, and, and this little secret admirer who probably isn't so secret to you truly, um, we'll, we'll want to come in and we'll want to create an everlasting promise with you. And I just saw 1441 on the clock. And then here we have somebody expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So I do feel like you are going to be getting a message from this person. And what will they be saying? 
I love you unconditionally. I'm done. I'm done. How fucking beautiful was that, power number three? I'm so glad I resonated with that one and not power number two. Sorry, power number two. <laughs> Um, I just split to the pack here. We have got the Page of Pentacles. So it could be a little offer coming in. Again, nobody really wants a page when you're sitting in Empress Energy. But, um, you know, something is better than nothing. And I do feel like this person is working on themselves. I feel like you're working on yourself as well. Can I get one more clarification card, please, for part number three? Mm, okay. We've got three. Uh, you're viewing this situation in an entirely new way that is bringing you out of stalemate. Um, what's this ten of ten of pentacles in reverse? What's on the bottom of the pack? Oh, okay. So bottom of the pack is the ten of wands, and underneath that was the emperor and the eight of pentacles. So I do I do feel as though you are kind of moving away. Um, no, what am I saying? You 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 you're viewing you're viewing things in a new way. There there is a feeling of like with this with the two of swords that a choice has been made and it's going to end a stalemate between you two. So it will be kind of like a balance. There will be some balance that's brought into the situation. And I do think that that is from this hangman energy of like becoming enlightened, changing the way that you're looking at things. Now, interestingly enough, this ten of cups, ten of coins. Why do I say ten of cups? Ten of coins in reverse talks about losses. Um, it does talk about gambling and it also talks about kind of like sustainable losses. I just pick up, picked up the pack at the high priestess there. So they want you to follow, and look, the empress is underneath her again. Beautiful. They want you to follow your intuition with this because actually the losses that you make at the moment are going to be sustained losses and it's going to bring you to something that is better. And, and like for me at the moment, uh, I'm thinking about closing down my old business, I'm moving house, I've broken up in a relationship. Do you know what I mean? They're sustained losses, it's fine. I'm clearing out the old to wait made for the new, to make way for the new. Uh, and I feel like that's kind of like what you need to do as well. So that's that 10 of pentacles in reverse, is that, you know, some of the things that you've been working on actually also need to be shifted um, for this new thing to come in, okay? So... I feel like it's very positive for you, um, part number three, um, and I'm glad I'm on the same ride as you. If you enjoyed this, please can you put a like or a share or a comment or whatever, what on whatever platform you're watching this on to be able to do something. Um, if you're interested in that Twin Flame course, we start on the 1st of March. Um, I'll put the details down below. Uh, but I love you very much. I'm really looking forward to speaking to you next time, and good luck with your Divine Masculines. Take care. Bye.